Hello everyone, today we're working on a 2007 Dodge Dakota and we're doing a transmission flush. First thing we're going to do is pull down the transmission pan. We're going to replace the filter, clean the magnet, clean the pan. And uh, the transmission pan comes from the factory. It's glued on with a silicone sealant. And this truck has about 81,000 miles on it. It's still the original because it's got the silicone holding it up there yet. Um, the transmission filter kit comes with a, a gasket, so we'll be using that gasket to put that pan back up to seal it. Okay, and the other thing we'll be using is the Amsoil uh, multi-vehicle ATF, and uh, it's a chemical engineered synthetic, and it gives you several advantages. Uh, smoother shifting is one of them that I get a lot of uh, good feedback on. Uh, second thing is we'll cut the wear back by a factor of a third to a half over the standard transmission fluids, and you have a longer service life as well. Big thing too is the amount of heat that it'll take. It will handle significantly more heat over a longer period of time. And with those three combined, you get a much longer transmission life. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with that and uh, we'll be back with you. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and take these bolts out. These are a 10 millimeter head on them. And I'm gonna leave two bolts in the front and I'm gonna take all the rest of them out. That'll give me a pivot point to allow that pan to drop down and capture the fluid as it comes out. Okay, with that silicone on there, we're going to have to use a, uh, what I use is a, a Snap-on PK23. I got one here that I beat up over the years. But uh, we're going to knock that pan loose. You got to be able to break that grip that the silicone sealant has on it. Can get a little messy too. So we're gonna go ahead and take that pan down and get back with you. Okay, we're gonna take down this transmission pan, or the, I'm sorry, the transmission filter. And this is a T20, Torx 20. And uh, you're fairly snug, not too bad. Ah, that one's a little tight. Take out those two screws and then we can pull that filter down. Okay. Just wiggle that filter and now it comes. We'll set that down in the pan. And right up inside here there's an O-ring. That was on the neck of that right here. You can see the neck of that filter and that o-ring is what seals it up to the uh, transmission case there on the bottom. Make sure you take that out. That's about it for the filter for taking it out. Okay, we got this pan off. We're going to go ahead and clean it up. First thing we're going to do is take that magnet out and get all the fuzz off. This is the, uh, the initial break-in metals and wear metals that have accumulated over uh, the life of that transmission. And what we're main attempt here is to get the dirt load out of the transmission. And what I do is just try and soak up as much of that oily metal as I can on the, on the paper towel from that magnet. And uh, get it as clean as I can. Then what I do is I'll shoot it with some uh, starting fluid or ether. That kind of helps to uh, degrease it and then I'll blow the rest of the metal off. compressed air and I got it nice and clean just like a brand new magnet. And I'll set that aside and then uh, inside there's uh, there's also some wear, wear items from clutches you know the accumulation of the clutch wear you can kind of see this gray stuff here in the bottom and uh, we're gonna clean all that dirt load out and get that all nice and clean and then uh, last thing we'll do is we've got all this silicone on here from the factory this is what they attached it to the uh, transmission case with is a Silicone, it's a silicone sealant. And uh, we're going to go back up with the gasket, so we got to get all that off so it doesn't interfere with the sealing of the gasket. So we're going to peel as much of that as we can, whatever we can't peel off by hand. I'll use a gasket scraper, and you got to be kind of careful, you don't want to gouge the pan. But uh, let's go ahead and 
go around it and clean all that, clean all that silicone off. And also, if you live in a rust belt where there's a lot of road salt, you can see here what's happening is that road salt will start to creep in and grow underneath that silicone. Okay, so what we might end up doing is just using a wire wheel and getting that clean and dry, getting it down to the bare metal. Because otherwise that's going to allow a path for uh, oil to leak on through. So we're going to go ahead and finish cleaning this up and we'll be back with you. Okay, we took this to a motorized wire wheel and we got that rust off that was starting to creep underneath the paint here. So we got this down to bare metal. One other thing you're going to want to do is take a look at the uh, surface. Eyeball that surface, run your eyeball along it and see if there's any uh, low spots where that gasket goes. And especially where you drive in your, uh, your gasket scraper to pry that pan down. Because if it's on really tight, you can tweak that pan just a little bit. If you have a low spot, now's the time to take care of it and get it straightened back up so everything's nice and flat so it can seal properly. And then when we're all done, what I'll do is take, uh, take a can of ether starting fluid. And with that, I can get all that uh, oil dissolved. And you can see the junk is coming out. The thing is, make sure you got no sparks or anything that's going to ignite because uh, this stuff will ignite very easily. Now blow that pan out really good and make sure I got everything. It's nice and clean and dry. So that's all ready to go back up again. So we're going to go ahead and uh, put that magnet in. That's the last thing is the magnet. Don't want to forget to put that in. It goes back in that little circle spot right there. Don't want to forget that. So that pan is pretty well ready to go back in, all cleaned up, and uh, we're going to go ahead and put up the transmission filter. Okay, we're going to clean this uh, silicone off of this transmission uh, face right here where the gasket goes so it doesn't interfere with the sealing of that new gasket. So I got a nice sharp gasket uh, scraper here, and you want to make sure you don't gouge it, but just, uh, just scrape off what's left, go all the way around it, and clean, all, clean it all up. Then when you're done, take a, take a rag and again some ether and keep any flames or cigarettes away from it. And then just clean it, get it nice and clean and dry. Then you got yourself a good dry surface for that gasket to come up against. So we're going to go ahead and finish cleaning that up and then we'll uh, put up the, the filter. Okay, here's the new filter. We're ready to put that up. And uh, there's two bolts that hold it on. We got the O-ring on right there, and basically we just push it up in place, and right there it is. Okay, these bolts get 45 inch pounds of torque. It's not very much. 45 inch pounds. Okay, takes care of that. Next thing is putting up the pan. So we'll get ready to do that and we'll be back with you. Okay, we're getting ready to put this pan up and there's a little bit of fluid running down the back here. We're going to dry that up. Get this whole surface area as clean and dry as we can. And we have our gasket up. Got a few bolts in it holding it in. And we'll get it started.
Torque has a Jiffy Tight type fastener for the transmission cooler lines. And here's an example of it. I'm going to show you how that comes apart before we go into the truck. It's got a little plastic keeper right here. And slide that out of the way. And there's a little uh, snap ring. Now they make a special tool, Jiffy Tight does, to take this off and the tool is about 45 bucks and I found the tool works sometimes if you get in a real tight spot where you can't get both hands down in there it doesn't work so well so what I end up using is a corkscrew o-ring pick works really well and what I'll do is go down and get a hold of that snap ring and I'll just get a hold of that and pull it out and don't lose that because they don't sell that separately okay set that aside somewhere safe once you do that then you can go ahead and work your line out of that uh, fitting okay and then what we do is let that line hang and inside of that jiffy type fitting right in there there's a there's an o-ring and that o-ring actually seals it seals right here on the snout and it's 3 8 od right here okay so what i do is i get some 3 8 od poly tubing and that'll slide right in there and it'll seal on that o-ring Okay, and then the other end of it goes to my drain pan. So when I start up my engine, the fluid's going to flow, be sucked out of the pan, and flow up to the pump, through the torque converter, on out through this cooler line to the pan. And I'm going to go until I see a good color change. Okay, so when we're all done, we pull out that poly tube. And then if you look close, there's actually three grooves around the circumference of this uh, Jiffy Tight adapter. Okay. So we're going to take this little clip and we're going to bridge one of those grooves. I don't know if you can see it good or not, but I'm going to bridge it. And then I'm going to push it in, straight in, <clears throat> until it snaps in. There it is. Okay. So it's in. Now when you go to hook it back up, there's a ramp right here. And that ramp drops off on the back side and that's where the clip hooks in and holds it. Okay, so when you go back together, it's just a matter of pushing it, you'll hear a little snap, just like that. And then give that line a tug, make sure it's held good. And then you go ahead and put your, uh, your little keeper for that jiffy tight clip back on that plastic one, and clip that over, and you're done. You're all set. Okay, there's two uh, cooler lines from the transmission. The one's on the driver's side, the one on the driver's side is not the one we're after, we're after the one on the passenger side that's going to be fluid coming out of that cooler so we want to flush that cooler as well as the transmission so we'll pop off the uh, little jiffy tight keeper and you can see the little snap ring in there make sure you hang on to that because they don't sell them separate and set that somewhere safe and all you have to do is work that out just gently and there we have it and now we're going to hook our poly line up right in here into that uh, fitting where that o-ring is at. And we're going to fill the transmission up. And then we'll go ahead and uh, start the vehicle up and do our flush. So we'll get that all lined up and we'll be back with you. Okay, we've got our hose hooked up. Go ahead and start it. We put in uh, 8 quarts of transmission fluid. now okay so from here out 
what we'll do is hook up the uh, transmission cooler line and recheck the level. Okay, we're ready to put this clip back in under here and put that line back on. And like I said, bridge one of those slots and just slide that clip in until it seats. And you can take your line and slide it on in just like that and give it a tug back, make sure it's tight. And go ahead and put your little keeper back on there. And then clean up any oil that you have. Okay, and then we're going to check the transmission fluid level. So that takes care of the cooler line down here. We're all set with that. So we're going to go up above and we'll check that fluid level again. And if your transmission's dirty or filthy, it may take more to, uh, to do that flush to make it come clean. So we're going to go ahead and uh, recheck this level here. And uh, I want to thank you for watching my video and have a great day. Thank you for watching my video. Be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel at youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Donswell. I'd like to introduce you to Amswell Synthetic Lubricants. We have the most complete line of synthetic lubricants on the market that offer you greatly reduced wear, extended drain intervals, longer equipment life. You can check that out at my website, donswell.com. I also have a website for looking up fluid capacities. It's fluidcapacity.com. You can go there and print off the capacity of your engine oil, cooling system, transmission, transfer case differentials. Be sure to like us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Don Synthetic Lubes. Thank you and have a great day.